Tom Cruise and I were both surprised that Interview with a Vampire didn't get a sequel. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you know, that would have been fun. Uh, I mean, he did bite me at the end of that thing. I just saw the show last night and it's fantastic. Christian, I'm so uh, nervous to talk to you and meet you because uh, you're in like oh. some of my favorite movies. So this is a pleasure oh. for me. Oh, uh, thanks, man. Yeah. Now, I don't want to spoil anything. But people die in this show. Cats get eaten. Uh, were yeah. either of you surprised to see how dark the script got for being a children's fantasy? <laughs> I mean, I think yeah, a few people were surprised. Um, you know, it is there is an element of darkness. I mean, it's 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 scary. Uh, we were scared while while making it. I mean, the the special effects team did an incredible job uh, creating the Mulgarath creature you know um we were shooting out in the woods a lot of the time and it was cold it was rainy uh and there was this eight foot creature walking around um and you know would sneak up on us and legitimately yeah. scare the heck out of us yeah. now christian seeing as you're a legend yourself i'm assuming the answer is no but was it daunting at all taking over mulgarath from a powerhouse like nick nolte uh a little bit Yes, yes. Uh, Nick Nolte is definitely one of my favorite actors. Um, you know, he's incredible and, and did a fantastic job in the movie. Uh, but I felt like this was really a, a complete and total departure from the movie. I think obviously the characters were able to be greatly expanded upon. And that whole storyline of uh Mulgareth trying to weave his way into this lovely struggling uh family uh was was a, a nice element i think to to introduce into this story i i i like the that dynamic i loved working with joy uh the kids were great got to do a lot of fun scenes with those guys um and i got to be as as nuts as i wanted to be which which i always loved to do now, I love the dynamic between the two of you. Joy, did, did, you, uh, did you read the books in preparation for the role? No, because I mean, I, I got the job. It was very quick. Like, I read for it. And then within a few weeks, I was in, um, I was in Vancouver. That's not stressful I'd, at all. I'd seen the movie yeah. a long time ago. So I watched the movie again and just kind of went from there. That's amazing. Um, Christian, uh, one last question. You've been in so many classic movies. Which of your films were you maybe surprised didn't get a sequel or got really close to getting a sequel and just didn't happen for whatever reason? Uh, you know, I mean, uh, Tom Cruise and I were both surprised that Interview with a Vampire didn't get a sequel. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you know, that would have been fun. Uh, I mean, he did bite me at the end of that thing. Um, in this era, it would have. It, yeah, yeah, in this era, for sure, you know. Um, There's still time, to be honest. I mean. It's true. It it's back. true. It's not like he's aged. I mean, You guys are both same. aged great. Really? Oh, man, thanks, dude. That's, no. that's Wait, a kind thing. Him and Tom Cruise or him and me? Oh, all of you. You all are beautiful okay. people. You're all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a great one. I, I would also love to see what uh what Clarence and, and Alabama were up yes! to. Days. I would yes! love that. I saw the show. Uh, last night, and it's great. So congratulations, first of all. I don't want to spoil anything, but people die. Cats get eaten. Uh, were either of you surprised to see how dark the script got for being a children's fantasy? Yeah, I mean, I think that one of my favorite things about the show and the adaptation is that we, do, we it's a lot darker than the movie or the books, and I think that the show has kind of grown up with its audience that loved the books. <laughs> and, and it's definitely older, it's darker, it's scarier, creepier um fun fact they actually added in the scene with the cat where we walk into the house for the first time into the first episode after um we were done shooting like that was one of my last days on set because they wanted more scariness and darkness in the first episode because they didn't think it was dark enough so they added in that scene to like really darken up that episode and i think it definitely wow. does that it does like the job. That was the point where I was like, oh, this show's not messing around. This is yeah. this is serious. Like if I was 12 right now, this would scare yeah. the crap out of me. So, yeah. Now, Jack, will you ever play a character with a name that's more fun to say than Thimbletack? Never again. No, mm -hmm. that was my I didn't think so. Uh, but it's great. I love Thimbletack. Thimbletack rolls off the tongue real well for me. I think it'll roll off the tongue of most of our viewers, hopefully quite well. 
Um, I said it five times fast before this interview just to make sure that I could get it's everything. A good vocal warm up, isn't it? Yeah, it's thimble great. Thimble tack, thimble tack, thimble tack, Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Was now, was Dante, right. though, taking the rollover from a legend like Martin Short, like, did you go back and listen to him? Did you take anything from his performance to apply to your own at all? I did. That's the first thing I did. And then they were like, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> and I was like, what did I just do all that research for? Well, no, actually, it wasn't really like a chore research. It was very fun. And I, I also grew up loving the movie. Um uh, A big obsession with it, actually, and had all the toys and, and the Hobgoblin and the, the monocle and everything. Um. But uh, they and at the end of the day, they were like, I went in there kind of doing a piratey thing. I was like, oh, baby, man. And then <laughs> they were like, don't do that. That's weird. You're not a pirate or a leprechaun. You're a kid. You're a 2000 year old like teenager. So I was like, oh, that's that's easier. But kind of lame. <laughs> I wanted to be a leprechaun pirate. And they're like, no, no. But then actually, but what happened, what ended up happening was, is that they we took different takes of me doing different things with more gravel or more. um like pitch or something and um then they would combine they combined it for certain bits oh uh real quick jack i wanted to tell you uh um i'm almost out of time but have you started filming friendship yet and if so how funny yeah. is tim robinson in person oh dude we just finished we finished about two three months ago and that was um God, i don't really want to i don't even know what or how to say anything he is the best comedian genius of this time and I don't think, and he's going to, he's paving a way. He's like, he's like the leader of the comedian, the comedian renaissance that's been needing to happen for a long time. And he's at the forefront. I'm going to see him this Thursday in Nashville. And I'm so excited. What's he doing in my, what's he doing in Nashville? I live he's, in Nashville. He's doing a show in Nashville. Come a with me. Like you can come with me. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll, you can come as my plus one. I got an extra ticket. All right. Sounds yeah. great. Guys, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Hi guys, I just saw the show yesterday. It's a lot of fun. I, I was really excited to uh, to get the screeners for it. I don't want to spoil anything, but people die, cats get eaten. <laughs> Were either of you surprised to see how dark the script got for being a children's fantasy? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. we were just talking about this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what was your first reaction to being like, oh wow, they're like actually going there? I already knew it was kind of, it had sort of an edge, it was edgy. But um, just just like putting all this reality into like this fantasy world, it was it was insane how dark it dark it was. But it's so cool. It's it's yeah. it turned out real well. It yeah, no, I'm see, I, I'm of the opinion that we need more dark children's fantasy. So I was a fan. Like I love Coraline and stuff like that. Like oh, yes, yes. the scarier you can make it for kids, the better. I'm I'm all in yeah. on it. Now, how familiar were each of you with the the Spiderwick Chronicles before joining the series? Did you watch the film or read the books to prepare? Yeah, I grew up on the books and I watched the movie a yeah. lot. I said yeah. I said films, didn't I? It was one. I, I yeah, one yeah. One one one. One. <laughs> the film for me was like one of those that was on repeat constantly in my household. Um, the books I read once I booked the role, but they're also amazing and just dive into the world all the much more. Um, but yeah. the movie definitely it has a special place in my heart Michaela I had no idea that fencing was so serious until I saw your scene where you do mental fencing and yeah. I was just like holy crap like that like thinking I, I didn't know there were so many different like moves for it I don't know a lot about fencing um how how much did you learn about fencing just from your time on the show I learned quite a bit. I was in fencing lessons like two to three times a week. Um, once filming got a little bit heavier, it, it dropped down a little bit. But I, you know, I can hold my own now. I'm not the best, but I I know how to, you know, <laughs> how to do this certain moves. And then that scene in particular was so fast paced. And that's exactly what fencing's like. So it was a test for sure. Do you feel like you can apply that into other areas of your life now since there's not like a whole lot of sword fighting going on these days? Oh, hundred percent. I also got to do like a lot of my own stunts and stuff, which was cool. They let me, you know, mess around with, with the different swords and stuff like that. And just the, the fencing lesson is I can d definitely apply to so many different things. What's the word on a second season? You got, we got to get a second season, right? That's happening. That's definitely the goal. Yeah. I got to cross your fingers. I mean, we get a second season. It's, it's going to be good. Watch I, I, the show April 19th, tell people and, you know, great. second season. <laughs> I have no doubt. Um, last question, though. What was the thought process behind like making the kids a few years older for the series than they are in the book? 
I think it it definitely, like you were talking about earlier, you know, aging it up, it definitely brings the edginess up and like there's just the cool level and you know, it 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 takes a you know more realistic standpoint, but still with all of, you know, the magical creatures and and paying homage to the book and the original movie, but it definitely just brings the stakes up a lot higher. That's awesome. Well, you guys did a great job. And like I said, I love what I've seen so far. So thank you very much. Can't wait for everybody else to check it out. Have a great day.